Hey, how's it going guys? It's Scarecrow and welcome back to another episode of Black Ops 3 In Depth. Today we're going to be looking at the Olympia Shotgun, one of the newer weapons added into Black Ops 3 in the newest weapon update. Now this is actually a shotgun and a weapon that I am lucky enough to own on my account so I didn't need to borrow an account for this weapon and this has quickly become one of my favorite shotguns and just favorite weapons to use for fun. I'll explain at the end of the video with my personal opinions on the weapon, but let's just say that this thing, it has some inconsistencies and some downfalls, but it makes up for it in other ways. Now, before I get too much into the video, I did want to say there is only a couple weapons left in Black Ops 3, and if you guys would like to be kept up to date on the weapon that I'm doing next after the, this in depth, then feel free to follow me on Twitter. The link is always in the description below because I allow you guys to vote on the next weapon for next week when I will get around to it. So I'll put up a poll and you guys can vote if you want to keep up to date with that. Then feel free to follow me on Twitter. I always tweet about it over on there. So yeah. Anyway, let's get on with this in depth. First of all, I just wanted to say that the shotguns in Black Ops 3 are extremely interesting when it comes to their mechanics and stuff like that. So I'm going to recommend a video by Drifter. It'll be one of the first links in the description below for you guys to go and check out, which explains a lot of the shotgun mechanics and he does it a lot better than I can. This in depth for this shotgun is a little bit harder to do just because of the way that shotguns are set up in Black Ops 3. So you're kind of going to have to bear with me a little bit here, but I highly, highly recommend that you go and watch that video, at least the start of it where he explains explains how the shotgun mechanics work in Black Ops 3 because what I'm saying will make a bit more sense then and you'll have a clearer image in your mind of you know how effective this shotgun can actually be. But anyway, let's move on to the stats. The Olympia will deal 98 damage, dropping down to 90 damage, dropping down to 50 damage, dropping all the way down to 48 damage. So that is a very, very strong and competitive damage profile as you would expect from a shotgun, meaning that it is a one to two shot kill. Now I'm going to add a little asterisk here, a little pre fix because long barrel, although it is an extremely sexy attachment, and I'm probably going to end up recommending it later on in the video, the long barrel does add a three hit kill range onto this weapon. Basically the way that long barrel works in the shotguns is it doesn't improve the damage, it just improves your capacity to get hit markers at longer ranges. So if you put long barrel on this weapon, be aware that sometimes you will get three hit markers or three hit kills at those super, super long ranges. Speaking of the range, the Olympia has a one shot perfect hit kill range of 13 meters, the same as the KRM. It's about there anyway. It's a little hard to be extremely consistent with the shotgun. And we're talking like absolutely perfect, like every single pellet from your shot hits perfectly, then it is a one hit kill at 13 meters. Past that, it does turn into a two hit kill. But with the 98 damage, it means as long as you don't have long barrel on there, it will always be a two hit kill past that range. So if you can hit them twice, they're dead no matter what they do. The headshot multiplier on the weapon is 1.1x, completely useless, so it's not like you're ever going to be going for headshots with this weapon anyway, but uh, there's nothing too special there. The rate of fire on the weapon, now keep in mind that this is a double barrel shotgun, and so the rate of fire isn't really that important, but it is quite nice at 212 rounds per minute. You can pop off these shots really rapidly if you want to, which means it's great for consistently hitting and killing one to two people at a time, if you've got the aim for it, that is. And rapid fire bumps it up 225 rounds a minute, but I never found rapid fire to really help out that much because the gun fires quick enough that you can just squeeze off two shots really quickly anyway, and I never found that rapid fire really helped me in any situations over other attachments. The reload speed on this weapon is extremely slow, so the source of all of the shotguns because of the fact that it is a break action double barrel shotgun, and it reloads at 3.3 seconds, which is quite slow. With this weapon, you want to be accurate and you want to be up in people's faces, but you do not want to be too aggressive because the reload speed is so punishing that if you miss your your shots then you're basically dead you have to jump around like a bunny rabbit and hope that the enemy has some god awful accuracy i will say that fast mags does make it considerably less painful at 1.8 seconds which is why i'm going to recommend fast mags however you use this weapon fast mags is absolutely necessary the sprint out time on the weapon is 0.25 seconds, which is exactly the same as the rest of the shotguns. And the ADS time is 0.2 seconds, which is slightly faster than most of the other shotguns. It has a two shell magazine with it being a double barrel shotgun, which is pretty obvious. And there is absolutely no option to add extended mags on there for those wondering, not that you ever could. I mean, can you imagine having like two extra barrels on there, having a four barrel shotgun? That would actually be pretty cool. Um, but sadly, we do not have that feature with this weapon. 
And that's about the core of this in depth, really. Like, I didn't know exactly how to really approach this because shotguns are interesting in Black Ops 3 and the Olympia is no exception. Basically, it's a boomstick. It's a blunderbuss. It has a super long reload speed, but it's quite powerful and does quite a bit of damage. So if you get up in people's faces, you're gu guaranteed to pretty much kill at least one to two people. But this isn't a shotgun that you're going to be getting, you know, super long feeds with just because of that reload speed. The enemies have to be extremely incompetent or you have to be extremely quick and maneuver in a a lot of interesting ways to be able to keep up the momentum with the shotgun because that's the trouble with the Olympia. It's hard to keep momentum. You're constantly having to stop and reload and then keep going. Whereas with the KRM, the Brecky, and the Haymaker, you can just keep going over and over and over. And there's not a lot of breaks in momentum compared to this weapon. But I will say though that this weapon is still my favorite shotgun in the game. When I first heard about the Olympia being added into Black Ops 3, I wasn't that excited because I never used it much in the original Black Ops. It was definitely not my favorite weapon in that game. And I just couldn't see it really being that fun because you have the KRM in the game and that's to me that was the best shotgun. But then when I got this weapon and tried it out for a bunch, it just like, I got a gold within the first couple of hours. I was having so much fun with this weapon and it's so aesthetically pleasing. I mean, the, the design of the weapon and the attachments, the way they look on it. I was going for what attachments looked cool over how practical they were just because of how sexy the gun looks with its wooden stock and stuff. So you get an A for style and presentation here. The Olympia gun model is so sexy and I got it as a display for a most of my specialists actually. As for classes that I'm going to recommend for the Olympia, you're going to have to bear with me here for the second class, but the first class is pretty much just your stock standard shotgun class, whatever your perks you want to use. I recommend Gung Ho, Fast Mags, and Scavenger just to, you know, keep you on those streaks longer. As for attachments, Fast Mags, like, you cannot live without Fast Mags on this thing, so that is always going to be on one of your classes. And then I know that I said there was some conflicting stuff with this, but I'm going to recommend Long Barrel because none of the other attachments really measure up. Uh, long Barrel will extend your hit marker range, yes, but it also means you will get some slightly longer to hit kills because you can hit them from longer. And not only that, but it kind of looks pretty awesome too. But it's a kind of a trade-off. I mean, you, you don't have to have Long Barrel on there. I just thought it kind of looks sexy and it sort of works for him sometimes, so yeah. But as for the second class, the class that I had so much fun with and surprised the heck out of me is actually the silencer on this weapon. Fast mags and silencer. Don't ask me to explain it, but I had so much fun this morning running around for hours with the shotgun, destroying people. And I, I don't know whether it was just me and I was having a good morning, but the silencer on this weapon is so damn good. You know, the way that you can fire off your two shots rather rapidly means that even if you get, like, even if you don't get that one hit kill straight away, you can, you know, quickly finish them off with a second. And so it really made up for any cons inconsistencies and a little bit of a reduction to range that you get with a silencer. So, I recommend that you try this. It may sound scary and I really didn't want to try the silencer on this, but I was just going ham and having so much fun with this weapon and the silencer that I'm actually going to recommend this class if you're looking to have fun in Black Ops 3. As for what I think about this weapon, I think that this is not really a competitive shotgun, but it is but it is an extremely stylistic and fun weapon. And to me, that's what matters most. We've got a lot of consistent overpowered shotguns in this game. This is kind of just the wacky, have a bit of fun shotgun. It's a double barreled shotgun that sounds awesome. It looks freaking awesome. All the attachments look awesome on it as well. And as soon as I got gold for this weapon, I haven't taken it off because that is in my mind just looks so sexy with the wooden stock and stuff like that. So yeah, this gets an A for style and presentation for me. I really, really enjoy using this weapon. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of In-Depth. If you are interested or curious to see where I get all my stats from, there is always a link in the description to Marvel 4's stat page. He takes the time to go into the code of Black Ops 3 and gets all these stats and then arranges them for us, which allows content like this to be made possible. And as always, I am super grateful for him doing so. It's just awesome to have someone so dedicated to the Call of Duty community and providing such invaluable stats for us to use. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I shall see you, beautiful people in the next video.